So I don't want to talk about too much politics this week. Uh, I do know that Kamala Harris has picked her running mate in the presidential election. And it's some random guy. I don't know, man. Like I'm just tall tapped out with all that crap. But the conversation I did want to have is rap related with politics. I want to know what you guys estimate is of how long will it take Young Thug to actually endorse Donald Trump? Now, they got a lot of things in common. Donald Trump recently did a stream with Aiden Ross, who is one of the biggest streamers right now in the, in the space, right? Did a stream with him, and he mentioned the whole Fonnie Willis and how Young Thug was being taken advantage of and how it was unfair. And I'm like, yo, this is the perfect setup for if Thug loses this, this this trial with this whole YSL thing, then it only makes sense that he endorses Trump and he tells people, but he got to do it before Trump is elected, right? So November is coming. So before November, Thug has to make his imprint to let people know that he's riding with Trump. If he doesn't do it before the election, it doesn't matter. And I don't think Trump is he has no reason to pardon him because he can't be president again based on current rules. I know Trump is saying that he's going to change that and you guys never have to vote again, meaning a lot of people think it's a lot of it's going to be a dictatorship. And Trump wants to basically be a king and forever be the president. But within the next few months, we're going to figure out if Young Thug says or puts out a statement about. Donald Trump to further his freedom so that way he doesn't if he does get found guilty maybe Donald Trump can pardon him and that's to get back because they got two people that they don't like together Bonnie Willis is the, the op of both of them so what do you guys think about that theory man how long do you guys think that young thug will wait before he endorses Donald Trump